Lalo here. He zapped the Inferno, both Infernos, and the Sweeper. Oh my gosh. We're about to see it. No. He's going to do the dirty. RC trick for both Infernos. Yes! Ooh, that was beautiful. Today, we've got HT Family versus Rest. Two epic teams. HT Family, we're even at the World Championship here, and we're in. Rest coming in with the first attack. And let's see what they're bringing today. Coming in with a Super Witch attack to start us off with invisibility spells. Ooh, early blimp with, oh my gosh, look at that invisibility spell. Drops it nice on the outside just to make sure that scatter shot is not invisible he's going to keep making them invisible and gets quite a bit of value there but was it worth was that worth five spells i don't know i feel like a normal yeti blimp with no spells at all might have been better there i'm not sure if that was worth it we'll see King on the top side to funnel. All the super witches coming in super early. He's not doing a long warden walk on this one. We're just going to go straight in over here at 1030. Now, he doesn't have a second blimp to get to the town hall. So, uh-oh. How is he going to get to the town hall, guys? All the super witches are going to the core. Queen gets locked onto by the single. But luckily, the big boy and the queen take it out in time. With the help of that rage, jump to the right side of the base. Pops the warden ability in the core here but he's got to get something to that town hall there's a double skelly trap up there warden and super witches are going down south queen in the core making her way over toward the right side of the base it's a good thing he saved his world champion and a free spell because i don't know how else he would get this town hall nothing pathed up there there are two super witches but they're getting hit hard by that giga inferno he's gonna have to freeze the town hall with the barbarian king just to make sure that town hall goes down oh he didn't freeze in time Okay, did he? No. <gasps> he needed to freeze while the BK was on the backside. Oh, luckily she doesn't switch targets too early. He gets the town hall. Wow. That was looking a little sketchy. There's still super witches on the backside that are staying up. Don't tell me this can still triple. Can this still triple? Hold up. He's got a minute on the clock. Two super witches with healers, but that single target inferno i think is gonna save the defense single target inferno not gonna go down i bet super witch gonna have to bang through a wall here in a little bit yep she's gonna bang through a wall right there on the lower side of the base the other one's gonna work her way up toward three o'clock but they're never gonna be able to reach that single target inferno and it's gonna wipe them out one at a time and it's looking like defense for ht family here to start off the war and we'll see what this world championship team can do on offense after this attack. Super Witch doing the disco dance right there in the tornado trap, spinning around. She'll be able to go over here, bang through another wall. I'm surprised she didn't just go outside when she could have. But with only 12 seconds left on the clock, he's looking at close to 90%. No, not even. Going to be like an 86 or an 87. As time runs out. Super Witch might be able to get that air defense. No, she gets the little stutter there after spawning a big boy. And we're going to finish at 87% here in the first attack from rest. Now we'll see what HT Family can do and if they can start getting some triples. HT Family are in and let's see what they're bringing. They're coming in with a Lalo. No early blimp, no invisibility spells. So we're not using them super wizards, I don't think. We're going to RC trick the lower side Inferno. She's also going to pull the clan castle troops super early. Two headhunters and a lava hound here. He does have a poison, but no lightning. So he's just going to have to manually work his way through those headhunters. He's going to do so by dropping the early poison right here. King's going to ignore that lava hound while the queen gets stuck on it for quite some time. Sending an ice golem, funneling with some sneaky goblins over on the left side of the base here. He wants to get queen and king into the town hall to suey that. Oh, the sneaky goblins pulling the lava pups to the right, but luckily they come back. Does queen actually go to the left? King gets the cannon. I think that's going to force queen to the right. Ooh, rip this suey from HT family. Now he's going to try to use some freezes to let king get the town hall. It's not going to work. 
Oh, rip the Sui pathing. He's not getting the Town Hall, and he's not getting the Sweeper. This is going to be a hard Lalo right here. He's going to have to Lalo into the Town Hall, unless he just uses the Siege Machine for it. Yep, he is going to Lalo directly into the Town Hall. Siege Machine going into the core. He's going to use the Stone Slammer. More Lalo troops from the top left side of the base. He has to freeze the Town Hall. Has to haste through it. Finds the Tornado Trap on the left side. Going to have to pop the Warden ability. Luckily, at least he has a Rage. That'll help him get through it. But the Rage placed a little bit aggressively, but it works. Stone Slammer makes it to the core. Hopefully it paths to the scatter shot and not the Tesla. <laughs> okay, it does. But there's a multi-targeting Inferno Tower. Red bombs all over the place. The scatter shot stays up. More Lalo troops on the top side. Warden is about to get wrecked by the scatter. That doesn't go down on the top. Oh my gosh. Both scatters stay up. It's going to be a defense for rest. And now it's a matter of percent. Can they get better percent? Than rest got I think rest got 87 and no they cannot this is gonna be a low percentage attack in this meta where 99% isn't even enough this one's only gonna get close to 70 maybe just a little bit above 70 he freezes the scatter and the sweeper so hopefully the minions they're not even targeted so they will be able to grab that gold storage no more cleanup on the right side of the base and the Eagle's gonna be able to shoot his minions so I'm not sure if he'll even reach 70 percent here these minions on the top side are going to get absolutely pummeled right there just before the gold storage goes down wow zero hp gold storage and now the minions on the left side as well are going to get absolutely toasted right here does the splash kill both <gasps> oh yes it does and he falls short one more building and he could have had 69 percent but instead it's going to be a massive defense for rest and now they have the advantage after the first round of attacks we're in rest it's King Klaus and let's see what he's bringing let's see what he's bringing coming in with a uh, invisible Lalo here he zapped the inferno both infernos and the sweeper oh my gosh we're about to see it no he's gonna do the dirty RC trick for both infernos yes Ooh, that was beautiful two lightnings one earthquake two invisibility spells Two Inferno Towers gone in the first 10 seconds of the attack. Oh my gosh, that was so creative. You love to see it. King and Queen gonna try to sue here for the Town Hall. Tesla Farm might throw things off a little bit. He's gonna use some balloons to try and funnel them in. Finds a bunch of Seeking Air Mines. He needs to pop that King ability or he's... Okay, he still goes in. That's good. Does Queen go for the Town Hall? If she does, that'd be cash money. The CC troops are going to lure her in, so we're looking good. He drops the poison perfectly and even uses a freeze just to make sure that King stays alive. Nice and healthy here for the Town Hall. Down goes the Town Hall. Poison spell is going to kill all the troops. Activates the Tornado Trap nice and early so he doesn't have to worry about that for the Lalo. The Sui is looking perfect here for rest. Still has the queen ability. Now it's all going to come down to can he do the Lalo? I'm kind of curious as to why he brought two Skelly spells instead of just more headhunters and extra freezes. But we'll see how he uses these Skellies. Starting the Lalo from the top side of the base. Is he going to Skelly early or headhunter early? Looks like he's going to headhunter early for the Royal Champion and just Skelly the queen on the back end. Those headhunters absolutely melt that RC right away. Needs to pop that Warren ability. Ooh, he almost got the headhunters in the Warren ability, but didn't. That would have been OP if he did. If he popped the Warren ability one second earlier, the queen would be dead right now. But now he's going to have to use the skellies for her. And there he goes. The perfect drop on the skellies. She's going to go down and she's already low on HP. The, sca the stone slammer on the left side of the base is doing work. He's got one more haste, one more freeze. No defense is left, pretty much. This looks wrecked as the Stone Slammer troops can still pop out and come out and absolutely demolish these defenses. He could probably swag the freeze if he wants. Swag the Queen ability. This is crushed from King Klaus, guys, with the awesome, creative Royal Champ trick for two Inferno Towers and a Sweeper. What? Like, how do you do that? It's just amazing creativity. And hopefully we start seeing a lot more of that in the future. Because, man, you love to see those. HT Family coming in with their next attack. Now, they got a triple here if they want to stay in this war. They're already way behind. And this is an interesting base here. What the heck is this? New meta base building? Maybe. 
Looks like you can get a ton of blimp value on the bottom side, but let's see. HT Family actually coming in with a queen charge attack into a hybrid. It looks like he's just going to try to charge the town hall and hybrid this big chunk of a meaty base on the bottom side. Let's see if it works. He doesn't have any wall breakers for this attack. He's just assuming queen's going to naturally walk inside for this town hall, and I think she is. We're going to freeze up that inferno tower. Holy skelly traps on the top side. Luckily, none of them go to the queen before... She reaches that Inferno Tower, looking beautiful so far. I think he is going to end up having to freeze the Town Hall Giga Inferno once the Queen activates it, just so he doesn't lose his healers. Perfect Coco Loon there, picks up a Seeking Air Mine, and he's going to lose one healer, though, to another Seeking Air Mine. Was this baited? There's a third Seeking Air Mine! Holy crap. Going to rage up the Queen through the Town Hall. Going to have to freeze if he wants to save these healers. Or he makes them invisible. All right, all right. Perfectly done there. That works as well. He does have two freezes and two invisibilities in this army comp. Look at this poison spell. He didn't hit the super minions. Instead, he's going to make Queen invisible again. She's going to hopefully shoot those headhunters before they get out of range. No. Well, why is she beating a wall? The headhunter was right next to her. <laughs> I think she was beating a wall to go for one of the archers, but then it died from the after poison effect. That was really interesting. Early warden ability for the hybrid. King and siege barracks on the outside for all this crap down south. Now we're gonna have to heal up this hybrid really soon. There goes the first heal. Third and final skelly trap has been popped. Queen's just gonna end up beating through like 17 walls here to try and catch up with the hybrid. Now we're just hoping that we don't hit too many spring traps as we pass through the bottom side of the base here. We're gonna heal early, freeze early. I think that freeze was pretty much wasted, unfortunately. RC. Going to start working on the enemy queen here. Hopefully she'll be able to take her out. She will. Going to have to pop her ability soon as the expo is doing a lot of damage to her though. And I think we got it. Queen can grab the scatter. Ogs, Royal Champ, Warden can grab the Inferno. And it's a triple for HT Family. And just like that, it's going to be a tied war. Now I believe rest are going to be up on percent. But in terms of stars, we're back to even. And it's going to be anybody's match moving forward. That was an interesting base. We'll take a look at the percent here. It's going to be 33.6 to HT Family and 37.4 to Rest. Rest are in. And they get another triple and maintain their lead here. We got a Queen Charge Hybrid. He finds the Tesla farm right away and drops his Queen straight into it. Ballsy man here. Tesla, two Teslas are hitting his healers. Oh no, gonna rage up the queen right away. More sneaky goblins to funnel nine o'clock. Come on, don't let the healer die. No! Oh, queen snipes it just in time. That healer's at one HP. One red bomb, and we're saying goodbye to that healer girl. Another wall breaker to get him access to this eagle artillery compartment. This charge is looking pretty nice here. Finds a tornado trap. Oh, look at how that spins queen, and then the healers are in range of the air defense. Ooh, he is gonna lose a healer. Wallbreaker makes it in there. Lost one healer. Queen's looking good though. Already got the Tesla farm out of the way. Doesn't have to worry about it too much. There goes the next rage. You get Queen into that scatter shot so she can take it out. And fight the CC troops here in just a second. They're coming out right now. Ooh! Loses another healer to his seeking air mine. Does he only have two left? It's a two healer queen charge. Third and final rage. We're poisoning, we're freezing. Queen's barely hanging on to dear life by a thread. Gonna have to pop the ability. She's on one HP. Gotta start the hybrid soon if you want her to stay alive. Oh, she's not gonna stay alive. She's gonna, we lost another healer. Oh, rip. Queen activates the town hall and the last one. Holy bait from HT family. Queen activates the town hall, doesn't get it down. She actually would have if he dropped the free spell. She would have gotten it down. So now he drops the free spell in the town hall, but it's a little late. But it's going to work for the hybrid here as we move in. Lots of spring, spring traps on the town hall. We heal early. We pop warden ability early. Queen's dead. We don't get a healer swap. Unfortunate here. King working his way on the outside of the base. Siege barracks as well. We already used the warden ability. We already used our last heal. And there's a lot of base left. Holy crap. HT family with the nice base building the really good traps here to stop this attack and man did it work RC gonna be able to get through that multi she gets targeted by the single though so we're gonna have to pop her ability super early she's gonna go down hyper troops thinned out all the hogs are dead we got a few miners on the top side but <sighs> how much are they gonna be able to get guys not that much we're barely above 70% 
and it's going to be another arguably low percentage attack in this war rip rest on this one and ht family now have a chance to steal the lead after they've been down since the beginning there's a wizard in the core beaten on a wall he might be able to grab a builder hut if he has enough time but that's all he's going to be able to do if he even has enough time to get to that wall in fact i don't think he does we're running out of time here in five seconds there we go nice try to rest but that one just isn't going to pull through and we'll see if ht family can steal the lead away from them it's Jin Mu. I probably pronounced that awfully. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but let's do it. Let's do it. Early blimp with no invisibility spells on the top side. It's just going to be a Yeti bomb. Yep. Yeti bomb for the Inferno Tower. We pull the CC troops nice and early right there. Get the Inferno Tower out of the way. There's still one headhunter. We're going to poison these three super minions. Oh, what are those healers doing? They're being rascals. We're going to try to get Queen into the Town Hall compartment, it looks like. Looking good so far, as long as the Yeti can get that Archer Tower, and I think he will. We even send in a sneaky little Ice Wizard that gets zero value right there. Queen's going to step up, kill the Royal Champion, and hopefully make her way toward this Town Hall with the help of this first Wall Breaker. Come on, send the Wall Breaker. Send the Wall Breaker. Where's your Wall Breaker? Why no Wall Breaker? Where's the Wall Breaker? There he is, finally. Wall Break on the Wizard Tower. Queen gets the cannon, then the expo, then she should step up for the town hall. We're losing a healer to a seeking air mine. I'm not convinced Queen actually goes inside. Hold on. Okay, she does. Perfect pathing. Rage the queen up one more time. She gets the town hall. Healers are not in range of the Giga Inferno. We're looking pretty cash money here as long as the air defense doesn't start picking off all of our healers. Hopefully Queen goes left, grabs the air defense, and she does. Perfect pathing for this queen charge. We got King on the outside. We're going to hybrid from the one o'clock angle here straight into the tesla farm are we gonna pop the warden ability early yes we oh he popped the rc ability by accident instead of the warden ability guys rip he already lost the rc ability rages up the queen again on the lower side but we still got two freezes to keep this rc alive so i think he still has a good chance to triple here one more heal spell for the hogs it's a little late he lost a few hogs there to the scatter and giant bomb combo, but we're still looking good. Two freezes to keep this RC alive. The first Inferno Tower doesn't even target her. So we're looking really solid here. He can just double freeze this Inferno on the back end. And it's going to be wrecked from HT Family as long as he has time. Down goes the bomb tower. Freeze the Inferno Tower, that RC. Nothing's going to kill her. He even has three hogs in the bag that he just forgot to drop. Swag hogs. Swag freeze for HT family. Swag RC ability timing. Plenty of time on the clock. He sends the hogs on the top side just to do cleanup. Because who needs hogs? Who needs hogs? It's a triple for HT family. And now they are two for three. And they steal the lead away from rest. And it's going to be eight stars to seven after the third round of attacks. Checo is in with the next attack for rest. Let's see what they're bringing. They need another triple here to get back into this. We got invisibility spells. We got skelly spells. What the heck? Oh. No. He tries to skelly the clan castle, but he made it invisible. Oh, rip the homie. <laughs> oh, gosh. He tried to skelly invisible the clan castle, but he made the clan castle invisible. Oh, Earthquake on the right side of the base. We're going to try to RC trick at least one of these Inferno Towers. Here comes the RC from 3 o'clock. Clan Castle's still alive, so he just used like two invisibilities. And what else for... Oh, and the Tesla ruins his, his uh, pathing for his RC trick, so he only gets one Inferno. Man, he tried to be smart. Skelly the Clan Castle and RC trick two Infernos. And neither of those options work. Rip. The Tesla ruins the RC ability pathing so he doesn't get the second Inferno. Bulls some of the clan castle troops. Sends the king right into three headhunters. Queen will be able to help take him out. He's going to freeze just to make sure this king stays alive. Now he's going to try to sue the town hall. But I think there's still more clan castle troops to come out. Let's see. I don't think he got the full pool, did he? Uh, king's going to walk down. Queen's going to assist. He has a wall break to get him into the town hall. Okay, maybe he did get a full pull, and I'm just crazy. 
But let's see if he can get this town hall. There goes the wall breaker. Queen goes in. King should hopefully be able to go in here in a second. Or is he going to stay outside? Ooh. He's going to rage. Double freeze and rage? Holy crap. He really wants this town hall. If he doesn't get this town hall, that was a waste of like 79,000 spells. He's... Oh, he's not getting this town hall. Holy crap. He's only got one spell left. Sends the stone slammer for the town hall. Okay, I think the town hall is going to go down. Maybe. Here we go. Oh, gosh, I feel bad for him. Come on, Checo. You can do it. We need a god tier Lalo. He's got to pull off a Nick Lalo here to have a chance. Pops the ward ability. Down goes the town hall. Finally, we only had to use our entire army comp to get the town hall down. Rest of the Lalo coming in from the lower left side of the base here. We still have a queen to worry about. We still have a royal champ to worry about. We got two scatters, an eagle, two sweepers. Holy crap. Headhunter's coming in, but they're getting wrecked by this ground expo. How much percent can he grab? More loons on the top side to grab the archer towers. Oh, that one archer tower stays alive, and it's going to pick off a lot of our cleanup minions here. Only 15 seconds on the clock. It took him two and a half minutes just to do the suey. Oh, that's unfortunate. Nice try to Checo here, but I think, I think the first mistake with the invisibility spell had the snowball effect. It got in his mind and he kept making mistake after mistake after that. Poor Checo. The plan was good, but the execution, unfortunately, oof, nice try to rest, but they're going to be down here. And they're going to be down by a lot. If HT family can get a triple, no time to waste. They're in early. Here they go with the next attack. And it's a queen charge Lalo. And if they get another triple here, it's looking like a runaway victory for them. We'll see if they can do it. Use a sneaky goblin to funnel over here at 8 o'clock. Finds a couple of Teslas right away. We're going to let this queen start at 10 o'clock. Work her way down early. Gaku wall breaker right there to bust open the corner even more. To give queen access to this single target inferno. We'll see if she paths that way. <sighs> Take a sip of water here. Queen gonna make her way over here. He's gonna try to funnel this collector so that way Queen can step up for the air defense, then go back down into the open compartment. Here we go. Hopefully Queen goes inside. Yeah, she's definitely gonna stay inside. Aggressive rage for the Queen as she gets closer and closer to that inferno. I think it was still should have been one tile more aggressive. No, she's still in it. Perfect freeze right there. Queen is in the rage. Freeze hit the single and the enemy queen. King to funnel the outside. We do have two more wall breakers. I think we're going to send it to the gold storage. Yep, sending it to the gold storage right there. King's going to continue funneling the outside. The pathing's looking great. Queen's going to start pulling the CC troops soon. There goes the next rage to keep her alive. Here she goes. Now she's going to pull the CC. Headhunters right there. We poison the headhunters. Send in a minion for the air skellies. Perfectly done here from PN so far. This attack is looking beautiful. Queen's going to be able to continue walking the south side of the base. Oh, that last wall breaker was kind of swagged. Unfortunately, because of that OP builder hut compartment, he freezes the air defense. Okay, I guess healers are in range now after that sweeper. So yeah, that was a good call maybe. It's probably saved one healer there. Queen takes out the town hall. King pops his ability. Queen's going to continue making her way up closer and closer to the core. We're starting the Lalo from the top side of the base here with an early stone slammer. Lava Hound and Loons after that. That multi in the core though is being a little rascal daskal. We got to get some Loons over there. We send the late royal champion to the core for the multi. Ooh, I like that. Freeze the scatter shot, rage the loons on the top side to get that multi down. Queen dies, but we get a healer swap onto the road champion. It's only one healer, so it's not really going to keep her alive for long with an expo and a scatter shot. Sh scatter shot? Scatter shot on her. Rip. English is still difficult. Headhunters late coming in with the dragon and the warden. We get through the road champion. Can we get through the scatter? Yes, we do. Is this a triple? <gasps> no, the time. No time on the clock. Headhunters getting sprung off the map. They're not going to help with cleanup. Are we going to time fail? I think we are. 12 seconds to go. Dragon and Warden going to be able to grab a few more defenses. He needs some goblins for cleanup. Rip. HT family with this attack. 
three seconds. Oh, don't be a 99. Don't do him dirty like that. Okay, at least it's not a 99. It's gonna be a 97% for HT family. Now they're still only up by one triple, right? 10 to nine on stars, but percentage <sighs> heavily in favor of HT family, 73 to 64. So not only do rest need a triple to win this war, but they're gonna need a big defense. Kingpin with the last attack for rest. Now they have to triple to stay in this and they're coming in with Queen Charge Hogs? Oh gosh, we're throwing already. Blimp on the top side. It's a Yeti Bomb here for the single target Inferno. No spells. Just want to grab that Inferno and a little bit of pathing for the Queen Charge. We start the Queen up closer to 12 o'clock. Gonna try to get her into this Eagle Artillery compartment. It looks like she is gonna path that way. We can send in a sneaky little Headhunter here to help kill the enemy King. King's gonna funnel the outside. There goes the Headhunter with the Rage. I don't know if he actually needed that Rage. Just the Headhunter probably would have sufficed Hey, there's a big word. English ain't that hard after all, right? I'll mess something up later. Queen's gonna make her way into the eagle. King on the outside getting a ton of value here. Where are we gonna send these wall breakers? Gotta be very careful with that dark elixir storage. Are we gonna wait until it's down before we wall break? I think we are. Next rage for the queen. What? What, what? what was that freeze? I don't think he needed that freeze, but that's okay. That's okay. It's, it's pre-swag, right? This man's is confident he's gonna absolutely bully this base so he doesn't need that freeze. Queen walking around to the right for the bomb tower. Does she go back to the left? Oh, she does. That's some OP queen pathing right there. She's getting all the way to the core. The next wall breaker is looking sexy, but the queen, it's, she walks all the way around and skips the multi and now the multi is in range of the healers. Oh, that's not very cash money. Queen's doing him dirty. Can he keep the healers alive? If only he had that freeze for the multi that he swagged. The healers are on one HP, please. For the love of biscuits, don't be a red bomb in the core. We're sending the hogs on the bottom side, popping the warden ability for the town hall, but none of the hogs went to the town hall except the ones that do aren't in that warden ability. There's air skellies on our healers. We only got two healers left. Queen on RC action. Our queen's gonna die if only we had five healers. We still got hogs though. We're gonna heal them up again. There's the red bomb I was talking about. Rip the healers. But we're still getting hogs to path into the backside. Royal Champion's still alive. That's a cash money triple. How? <laughs> All right, it's gonna get it done. The charge was OP. He gutted the entire core. Didn't need the extra freeze. What a godly attack here. Why are we doubting him? Kingpin knows what's up. He's got wizards for cleanup on the bottom side of the base. RC stays alive. Hogs alive. Sneaky goblins for cleanup. Warden on one HP. I don't even know how he got hit so hard, but he probably likes it. And there is a clan clash triple with 30 seconds to spare. Rest getting it done. And now all the pressure, maybe just a little bit of pressure on HT family. They're going to need like an OP 75% or something <laughs> to win the war. We'll see if they can do it. Let's check out these percentages. 73 to 84.8. I think they only need like a 65% to win the war. We'll see. We'll see if they can do it. Hopefully, King Klaus has an OP base to defend HT family here. Last attack of the war. I think they need a 60% to win this war, but who knows? Who knows? Math is hard. Don't stay in school unless you're going to be an English major. English OP. Here we go. HT family with the drag bat if there's any attack in the world that's either triple or less than 60 percent it's a drag bat so ht family going full risk here let's see what they do on this one he's got one skelly spell for a drag bat what what what, what are you gonna use the skelly for let's see uh, a couple of hogs to grab a cannon or a mortar over at three o'clock king we're funneling him in to kill the enemy king and the scatter shot Queen in with the king. Okay, does the queen go in or does she stay on the outside? We're gonna go fight this enemy king. I think she goes inside. We're even gonna send in a sneaky little headhunter just to help kill the enemy king a little bit faster. Save some HP on our king. We're gonna be able to pop his ability now. Queen goes in, it's looking cash money on the Sui. She'll even be able to kill the CC troops and the multi-target Inferno Tower. We dropped the poison for the headhunters, missed the super minions, but they'll go into the poison here in a second. There they go. Queen's gonna make her way up top. 
pop that ability, get the bomb tower down, get the super minions down, get the multi-targeting inferno tower down. Is she not going to kill the super minions? Ooh, she's not. It's all right. The dragons will kill him. Here we go. Dragons from the top right side of the base. We're hopefully going to switch to a blimp for the town hall. There goes the skelly spell. It's meant to distract the single target inferno to hopefully save some of these dragons as we path closer and closer to the core. He switches to a blimp. Very smart choice there. Blimp with the warden ability. Going to hopefully make it to the town hall. We need the 60% to start to secure the win. We freeze the town hall. Blimp makes it there. Down goes the town hall. Dragon and loons. Boom. 51%. We need my nine more. Can the bats and the road champ get seven buildings? Can they do it? Let's see. Dragons in the middle are going to end up dying off pretty soon. Dragons on the outside. And we're just going to send in all the bats. Ooh, I hope they don't hit a red bomb. Because of the dragons activating red bombs. Ooh. Are they going to? Okay, dragons path south. Bats with the RC. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. He even has freezes for the eagle and the wizard tower. Tell me it's a triple. Tell me it's a triple. Come on, baby. You can do it, HT family. Pops that RC ability. Bats all over the place. RC can get the wizard tower. Oh, he did him dirty. With the drag bat, not only did he get the 60% two-star, but my homie is going to triple for the victory. And HT family are going to be winning this war 13 to 12. And rest in peace. The team rest as they're going to go home. Not victorious today. Tornado trap at the end is going to spin all those bats around. Send them to heaven. But it doesn't matter. That's a three star on the board for HT family. And there you have it. 13 to 12 percentage way in the lead for HT family as well. 93 to 84.8.